Hello, judges. I'm Joshua Helm, and these are my teammates, Marcus Quet and Yaman Khan. We're excited to present our program, the Sports Championship. It's an interactive game where you can act as a team captain and make key decisions to lead your team through an important match. Our goal is to create an engaging experience that blends storytelling, strategy, and interactivity. Every choice impacts the outcome, and with the program dynamically adapting to your decisions. We built this in Python for its simplicity and versatility, enabling us to focus on design and logic while utilizing its powerful library to create a fun, educational, and immersive experience. Let's dive into how it works. We start with the score variable, which is initialized in the initialized variables function where we set up our starting conditions. The variable scores an integer beginning at zero. It's used throughout the program to track the user's cumulative performance as they make decisions in game. Next is the welcome player function, which uses Python's built in input command to get the player's name to be stored as a string. It then prints a personalized welcome message, making the program interactive and engaging. We then move to the get team name function. Similar to the welcome function, it uses input input to let the user name their team. The team name is stored as a string variable and it's referenced throughout the program to create a sense of personalization. For example, if the user enters the Hawks, the program acknowledges it with your team, the Hawks, is ready to give it their all. The next part is the choose difficulty function, which provides three options, easy, medium, and hard. Difficulty impacts the game by applying different score multipliers. For example, in easy mode, scores are higher because the multiplier is 1.5, whereas hard mode lowers scores with a multiplier of 0.75. The user's choice is stored in a variable named difficulty, and we use conditional logic to assign the appropriate multiplier. Now we come to two important functions, choose play style and choose leadership. These let the user define their team's play style, offensive, defensive, or balance, and their leadership style, inspirational, tactical, or hands-on. Regardless of the choice, we add five points to the score as a bonus, which is clearly communicated to the user. Both choices are stored as variables and are referenced throughout the game to guide the experience. Moving on to another core feature, the help menu and, the, and stop functionality, both are handled in the get choice function. If the user types help, the program displays instructions explaining how to play. If they type stop, the program exits gracefully with the farewell message. These features are designed to make the game user friendly and accessible. Next, we handle user input validation in the same get choice function. If the user enters an invalid option like four or ABC, the program prompts them to try again, ensuring that the game runs smoothly and preventing errors caused by incorrect input. At the core of the game is the make decision function where users make key choices like pregame, half preparation, halftime strategy, and final plays. Each decision has three options, and Python's if elif structure calculates points based on choice and difficulty. For example, selecting deliver a multiplicational speech adds 15 points on median difficulty, adjusting dynamically using a difficulty multiplier. The generate feedback function enhances experience by providing feedback tied to the user score. For instance, scoring 30 points might trigger the crowd erupts wild in cheers, while lower scores yield more subdued reactions, making the game feel more interactive. The determine outcome function compares the user's final score to the opponent's, which is based on difficulty. It announces whether the team won or lost or came close, creating suspense as the game concludes. The recap function summarizes points earned for play style, leadership, and major decisions offering insights like play style choice for plus five points or first half strategy for plus 30 points. Finally, the sports championship function ties it all together, managing game flow, initializing variables, welcoming the user, and guiding them through decisions, feedback, and the final outcome. This modular design keeps the code organized and intuitive. Thank you, Josh. Now let's move on to a quick rundown of the, of the game. As you can see, we are first welcomed by a welcome message, which prompts the player to enter the name. For this, we'll use the name Alex. Next, we can we have the option to uh to enter a team name, which uses the get team name function, which captures the team name and stores it as a variable. But here, we'll put the hops. Now we can choose the difficulty of the of the game using the choose difficulty function, which assigns a score multiplier based on the selected difficulty. We'll choose easy mode. For easy mode, the multiplier is 1.5, which means higher scores for each decision. Next, we can choose the play style. For this, we'll choose offensive. Regardless of our choice, we'll gain an additional five points. It's the same deal with the leadership. If we choose any of the three ones given, we can, we'll gain five points. 
Now we have the option. Now we move on to the pregame, which we have the option to to prepare our team between one, two, and three. At any point, if you're stuck, you have the option to go to type help, and you get the help menu, which shows exactly what you'll need to do. Going back, we use the make decision function as once you choose one. For this, we'll use the study opponent tactics. You get a you get 22 points because of the multiplier and a custom message. Now, let's finish the game. During the first half, we'll focus on defense, gaining 30 points and another custom message. Then we'll boost morale. And then for the final play, we'll drive in for a layup. As you can see, we won the game with a score of 144 to 70, which shows a threshold to the easy difficulty. The recap shows that shows the recap of the, all the decisions we made throughout the game. And another quick thing to add, throughout the entire game, after we input our name and the team name, we, we can always type stop to politely stop the game. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to experience our program, Sports Championship. Our goal was to create an interactive story demonstrating key programming concepts like data validation, conditional logic, and dynamic scoring. From the personalized name and team selection to the feedback-driven decision-making, we've crafted a game that adapts to the player's style and delivers a unique experience each run. Whether it's the help menu ensuring user-friendliness or the scoring system reflecting the difficulty level, every aspect of this program was designed with care and purpose. We believe this program showcases the potential of programming to create dynamic and meaningful experiences. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you.